In 1995, I came to Kalimbu. The entire 22 years of my career that uh, I have been working with uh, state medical students and teaching students is my passion. I always felt that I am in debt to the people of this country because all my qualification I got have been invested by the people. So now my turn has come to give back to the people. But I don't think the people or the public has realized or they recognized this issue. So I feel sometimes very sad. They are a little bit angry towards the students who are taking up this issue for small, small, short-term goals, like the traffic is too much or like that uh, they can't walk in the road. So I think the people who are going to be really affected by this are not yet recognized. One of the best things in our country is the free education system, where money or influence or manipulation is not playing a role it makes available to everyone in the country so it is a very fair system this system hold us together up to now i have not seen fairness and justice introduced into a private medical institute within our society within our context and with our problems and with the experience that we have up to now i think it's going to be rather difficult to have a private medical institute uh, mainly because that um, i don't think that we can remove the influences out of a system when money is going to play a role. So therefore, this is not agreeable to me because I entirely think this education and health, all those things have to be independently selected by the system of the country rather than manipulatable by individuals. Everything in medicine has to be having a system. So there is a well-regulated system in this country which is very independent. Director in charge of the hospital, if he has to go and ask 10 extra questions from the patient, he has to get the approval from the ethics review committee. If this amount of regulation is in place to conduct a small study in patients, then don't you think that we need to have a regulation to a thousand times more than we are going to release doctors to the country. In this country, anything not regulated by the system is not acceptable. So in our country, years and years and years, this SLMC has been regulating the medical education. So if someone wants to establish a medical education in this country, the entire plan of having that medical education institute have to be approved by the Sri Lankan Medical Council before this establishment of started or recruited students so that's in one way this has not happened i don't like to break the system so in that sense if this institute has not gone through the independent regulation which is existing in this country then of course i in my personal view this institute is not eligible to give doctors to the people of this country that now you can't think of having one exam and allowing all the students to sit for that exam irrespective of what faculty they come from they are equally not acceptable because the entire clinical exposure you have is another part of your training probably that is more than the exams that you have this amount of clinical exposure wouldn't have been received by the student in that institute is not acceptable for me you just can't allow a people to get mbbs degree without the minimum standards which has to be established by independent experts in this field right so that is the other thing that i always feel sad all the non-experts on medical education are speaking about standards for medical education which is not fair it's very sad because the students who the system selected are on the streets because of handful of people who have been selected by people that's so why i used to go to overseas so i discuss about their medical education as well so when you compare that i don't see any lapses in the standard we maintain in our calendar faculty so i always ask this question from them mostly developed countries about their medical education what i learn is that there are hardly any private medical institute which is um, established for profit the state medical faculties facilities and resources can be easily increased and the intake to the state medical faculties can be easily increased if the resources could be increased so if you can do that then there is no need to the no profit private medical institute even but when you come to the faculty of medicine university of kalembu i think we are par excellence when it comes to the standards right even a head of this institute cannot manipulate the bylaws and regulations in place in our faculty how vigorously we maintain our regulations and rigid we are to allow a student to start the professorial unit in our faculty. So I think the standards are maintained 
fairly high. Even if you pass, if you don't pass your clinicals, you can't pass your exams. So all these are things that I'm very proud.